just came out. Glad you're tuning in. This is the G Show. I'm Howard G, your official host, the number one host. <laughs> and guess what? To my left, to your right. Uh, this is my right. This is my right. Yeah, my right. My right hand, man. <laughs> right hand. You know, like a bro. Put the, put the fists up. Put the fists up. Yeah. Power to the people. Jill. That's right, Jill. And Art. Uh, these guys, all three of us together, they're like Oreo cookies. Oreo yeah. Cookies. Double stuff. Yes, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> the best is in the middle. <laughs> right. <laughs> all right. We got a great show lined up for you guys tonight. As soon as my keyboard guy cut down his music, and that guys can hear me. All right. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> oh, oh, he wanted me to make sure I plug him. Give it up for Chris, man. Yeah. He's a record over there. See, that's why he was playing, because he wasn't going to stop until I announced him. I'm sorry. My bad. My hey, bad. He'll never shut up. Yeah. Hey, you know, you know, Chris kind of remind me of a fake Tommy from Martin. <laughs> like, ain't got no job, man. <laughs> yeah, he does a little bit. <laughs> Look, yeah. we got a great show line for you guys tonight. There's so much stuff going on. Before we get started the show, mm -hmm. we got to talk about current topics, what's going on mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. You know, there's an election coming up, guys. Mm -hmm. And as you can tell, like, hey, Jim, look, 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 have you noticed, look, look, you know, Jim, look at him, he like a little flag, look at him, look at him, let me, let me, let me do the national anthem, let me see you sing a little, yeah, you guys don't know, Jim is a uh, professional singer, for real, he really, he sings at, uh, professional means you get paid, right, so you don't, okay, yo, checks in the mail, brother, checks in the mail, brother, your last check bounced, hey, 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 I told you to wait till the 14th to put it in, of what wait. month, <laughs> It would help to tell me what month. Yeah, exactly. I waited till the right, come on, Jim. Come on. All right, all right, man. You're going to get your yeah, money. Yeah, tell him you don't take independence cards. That's right. You're going to get your money, Jim. <laughs> now, let everybody know that you can sing. Hit, hit a little something for us. Okay, where's something. the flag? I want to sing to the flag. Well, look at your outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Hi-oh. You going to put a flag behind me? Yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on, Jim. Come on. Let's hit a little something. <clears throat> Say what? Oh, Say, yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight of the ramparts we watched was so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare boom, boom, boom. the bombs bursting boom. in air boom. came boom. proof through the night that our flag was still there America! Does that star-spangled banner yet wave yeah. <laughs> of the land of the free yes. and the home of the brave? Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. You rock, man. Yeah. Thank you. Now, now you gotta do, you gotta do, oh my papa. I don't know. <laughs> That's all you get for free. But Jim Neighbors, remember Jim Neighbors? That's all you get for free. Yeah, remember when Jim Neighbors did that? I know Jim Neighbors well. Yeah. I saw him over in Hawaii, yeah. Okay, you did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Go all right. You don't believe, you don't believe I've really been in this business. <laughs> I believe it now, Joe. I do apologize to our viewing audience <laughs> that I didn't stand because I wanted to stay in the shot. But normally I just stand. And I, do have I stand. To say, and I do have to say, I've never sung in under those conditions before. I mean, I've had boisterous crowds before, but the booming and all that, oh yes. my. Oh, yeah. we want to be the we Back up, baby. We're back up. Fix. All right. Yeah, hey, look, guys. Hey, hey, hey. Look, we got to take a break. Okay. Because coming up, we got a great guest. Okay. We got a young lady who makes, um, what is it, Jim? It's, it's these little things. I can't uh, tell by this. I know. I mean, like money. It's like little uh, glass uh, um, figurines, figures, figurines. figurines, figurines, figurines right. right. Two, two right. syllables. Figurines. Right. Okay. And, and, <laughs> and guess what? I heard she can make them with her feet. That's how good Whoa, she is. Oh, yes. really? Yes. Wow. Yes. So we got to check them out. Should we take out. our shoes off? No, 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 no. Not that type of show. Not that type of show. Talk about a hot foot. So, so look, when we come back, yeah. we're going to have our guest, mm. uh, Miss Lori Gramble. Gramble, Gramble, Gramble. Don't growl at me. Yeah, she's going to be here. 
and she's going to show you guys what she does. She has a website. She has all the things. And, and we'll be back. Cool. All right, cool. hey, Chris, Look come on, it. man. Give us something to go out with. Right? Right? And we'll, don't go nowhere. We'll be back with more of the G Show, baby. All right. This is me, Howard G. You're watching the G Show. place in the world but here and I'm glad I'm here. Right now our lovely guest, Miss Lori Brando. Come on, let her, let her here. Come on guys. Nice to meet you Lori. Alright. Alright Lori. Now what is it exactly that you do? Well, I don't do anything with my feet. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> um, I am a glass bead artist. I, glass bead artist. Yeah, okay. I work with glass rods from um, Venice, uh, from China, and from Germany. Wow. And I take this raw glass, which looks like a big kind of glass pencil. Mm -hmm. I have a torch right. and this thin rod of steel. And I melt the glass onto that rod of steel, and as I'm working it, I sculpt it into figures, mm -hmm. animals, small objects. Wow. Like that. So I brought um, an example of what I do. They're okay. very small. Yeah, they are small. Wow. You see this? Look at a little horse. This is neat. <laughs> it's all broken. <laughs> it's a little pony. Um, How long did they take you to make, Lauren? Yeah. It can take anywhere from half hour to All right, we did take inventory. All right. Depends on how complicated it is. <laughs> Oh, that's a little blue jay. Oh, isn't that cute? Yeah. This is really nice. I had a question for you. Yeah. I'm not making crack pipes to you. No. <laughs> that is actually a whole different kind of thing. Oh. Yeah, that's just glass blowers. I'm a lamp work. Oh. That is <laughs> really neat. Now, um, can't make pipes. Okay. <laughs> now, how many degrees do you got to get that heat up? I know it's got to be pretty hot. Yeah. Ooh, it's uh, 1,800 degrees at the flame. Wow. Maybe Ooh. more. So are you doing this uh, in yeah. your home? Uh, yeah. You have a you yeah. have a. It doesn't take a lot of room. Uh, I have a little studio, um, maybe about as big as this what? area. In That's your home? Yeah. Man, I can imagine a fire marshal coming out. <laughs> Let me show you something. <laughs> no, it's okay. not that bad. Okay. It's just uh, a very small thing. Oh. It's just about that big. Now, okay. now, I'm just curious. How much one of these things would sell for? Uh, the horses right now are selling for about twenty dollars. What? Ooh. This. Uh, yeah. This little item yep. costs me 20 bucks. Yes. I'm in the wrong business. <laughs> Why is that? Because there ain't no many people doing it. Really? Sure. So what do people use this for? Like a Christmas tree ornament, necklace? Oh, okay. They're for designers who make jewelry. They oh, okay. You see that? Like you see one that? or two items. And that's about it. And that's glad. So what should, I guess the horse is your favorite uh, animal that you make? Uh, horses are a lot of fun. Birds, uh, cats, pretty much anything. But everything is one of a kind. There is no other horse that looks just like that. Mm -hmm. So I don't use molds. So everything is completely different mm -hmm. from one to another. Wow. I, now, can't, I wow. can't do duplicates. Yeah, nice. 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 Now, do you ever get people to give you pictures and they want maybe their loved ones done? Yeah. You could, you could do that too? Yeah, I actually did a, yeah. uh, a custom chicken. <laughs> yeah. Was it the colonel? No, was he yeah. fried? <laughs> was fried? Little hot sauce? No. Nope. <laughs> Eleven herbs and spices. <laughs> this was somebody's pet. Oh, so really? Wow. Spice. <laughs> somebody's Woo. pet chicken. Wow. Oh, really? And they sent me photographs, and I made one that looked exactly like it. Man. Could be around my house. Right. What's for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> so, is this a high demand? Like, are you? constantly working with this uh, I mean uh, right now I am actually on uh, disability because I um, have recently been diagnosed with fibromyalgia and uh, chronic arthritis okay mm. so I do this as I can and you have a website I do okay yep. I have a website on Etsy 
which is, a, I don't know if anybody's heard of Etsy, but it's a crafter's website. Okay. You go there, you buy directly from the artists. Wow. Oh, so well, you, your customers are reaching you directly. There's no agent, nobody's cutting oh, exactly. in. Exactly. You're going, okay, well, that's neat. Yeah. Yeah. That is really interesting. I never knew that you can, so on a good week, you can make quite a little change in there. And then are you also going to like uh, conventions or weekends where they have you set up with a booth and things like uh, that? I have done shows. They're a lot of fun, but they're a lot of work, yeah. right? Yeah. And they take a lot of time. And, mm -hmm. and honestly, with the internet being the way it is, it's a lot easier to just sell directly to the people through the internet. Okay. Right now, when you when you do live shows, can you make people items right there on the spot, or it takes days or hours? Uh, How long it takes to do something? Like that? <laughs> 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 um, if if they let you do a torch setup, then yeah, I have a demo table I can do. Okay. And you can pretty much do it right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, wow. this is neat. Hey. I hear I hear some music playing. Maybe we're gonna put the fire underneath our keyboard player, <laughs> so he can stop playing on beat and on time. But uh, this is interesting. Hey, Lori, thank you for coming by. We appreciate you. This is uh, interesting. I want you to make me a, a a horse too. I want a big black horse. You know, you know represent me, baby. I'm a stallion, baby. You know that? You know that? All right. Hey, thank Lori, our guest, for coming on. Appreciate you. Give it up for Lori, guys. Give it up for Lori. All right. Hey, guys, don't go nowhere. We got more guests. We got more things that's happening at the G Show. Don't go nowhere. We'll be right back. The G Show. Uh, yes, that's what I'm talking about, Chris. <laughs> you was almost there, baby. Almost there. All right. Hey, we got a special guest. This gentleman is a author. Uh, he wrote a book. And and I, I believe it or not, I have the great honor. I am actually writing, writing, taking the book and writing it into a stage play. Oh, but he has a story to tell you guys. It's an interesting story about his life. Awesome. And I want to welcome him to the stage. Mm -hmm. uh, this is his first book. I think he sold over 2,000 copies already. Wow. And he's selling like, like, out of the trunk of his car. I mean, wow. that's doing that well. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> please welcome Mr. Hines to the stage. Right. Hines! Hines! <laughs> Mr. Hines himself got his shades on. Now the reason why he got shades on, guys, because he, so he was in the mafia back in the day. So he, you know, you know, things, you know, you know, you never know, you never know who's watching this show. So you know, we got to keep everything on the down low. You know, all right, Hines. I'm glad you came out. This is the book. It's called Had I Had Listened. Had I Listened. Had I Listened. So um, tell us. What's this all about? What's this whole book about? I'm actually currently reading the book myself, guys. Okay. Well, the book, like it reads on the back, is about a boy that grew up in Baltimore City with not enough guidance and not enough love mm -hmm. and didn't complain about it. Just went on and took what he had to deal with and make himself a survivor by any means necessary, legal or illegal. All right. And after he succeeded in doing that, help as many people as he could afterwards. All right. So had I listened. So um, how long would you say this took you to write this book? About two years. Two years? So this is something you always wanted to do? Or yeah, just... something I always wanted to do. After I had some experience with friends of mine that wrote their books, they always encouraged me to write mine. That they thought the story was interesting enough to write mine. Now, when people write books, this is what I always think. I'm thinking that they, they call in somebody else and they talk to them and the people are actually writing. Do you actually write a set of the computer or you actually write down things yourself? Well, I actually wrote. Okay. And the best time that I wrote was when all the surrounds were quiet. And usually it was late in the morning when nothing was happening. TV was dull and it was quiet. And I write till 2 o'clock or sometimes at daybreak. So had I listened, I guess this book is telling people or letting people know what you've done as a you growing up, had your listen, 
you wouldn't have been doing this had you listened. You wouldn't be doing this like that, right? It's like a the road would have been a lot easier if I had listened. Had you listened, right? And then there's some things where you almost couldn't be here, right? Uh, plenty, <laughs> <laughs> right? Because I'm, I'm I'm reading a book and I'm, I'm I, I see some interesting characters in here, some uh, some things you did as a kid. Uh, I like how you you took it back to the way Baltimore used to be. Right. With the uh, A rappers, so right. Jim, you wouldn't know about A rappers. No. You, you wouldn't know. See, Jim wouldn't know about that. Boy, All right, tell who A rap. Tell what A rap is. All right, do your A rap. Uh, Y'all. Boy, Miller, yeah. Gano, got a of green. <laughs> come come get him. Oh, they come down your street. We used to come down our alley. Right? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so Jim, what you guys used to call them? What you used to call them then? Uh, uh, what do we used to call them? With their <laughs> was, horses, with their horses. Right, 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 right. Horse right. Wagon, right. Yeah, yeah, here comes the horse and wagon, and that right, guy. Right. <laughs> right, right. Okay, Jim. All right, Jim. Yeah, yeah, so they did have that in Dundalk. Good. That's good to know. All right. And they never cleaned up behind their horses. <laughs> Man. It's, it's funny that you mentioned that part. Right. Because in my story, I talk about how you didn't clean up behind the horses. And I how know, firsthand. I stepped in it a little bit. <laughs> I did too. I was a little kid. I was out there playing. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. That's dangerous. Horse doo-doo. <laughs> I'm going to write a book about what you did. Uh, it's already been written. <laughs> <laughs> Had I not stepped in it. <laughs> and here's the thing about horse doo-doo. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, back in the day, my grandmother was a plant enthusiast. Ooh. And somebody told her that horse manure mm -hmm. would grow her plants. Mm -hmm. And yeah. she wanted me to go out <laughs> and get some horse manure in the middle of the street. <laughs> I said, whoa, wait, man. No way. I'd die before I let my friend see me go out there. <laughs> So you out there scooping it up. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I did talk to let me go out 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning when people were sleeping. Okay, okay. I don't do any good for the carpet, though. No, they do no, something no. for your place, but not for the carpet. Right. Right. How was your day, Hans? Same old. <laughs> <laughs> so had I listened. So um, it's, it's good that, you know, you, you got this book coming out. Um, Hans had employed me to be uh, a writer, hey, and I'm, 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 I'm currently make it into a stage play, so we're looking for some new actors. If you're an actress or actress out there, you might want to contact the G Show and audition. Uh, we're going to try to make this uh, book come to life. Um, now, Hines got some stuff on here that I know I can't put on into a stage play, but uh, we're going to try to work around it. He said he wanted to try to get most of it out. We want to see what we can do. We're going to see what we can do. So contact the G Show. And uh, this is a great book. Where can I get it, Hans? Uh, where you, 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 you're, you're on North Avenue? Where you are? You're going to be wherever you're in your car to you get the book, right? Is yeah. it in Barnes & Noble? So you got it somewhere? No, you can't, you're not in Barnes & Noble, but any, any black bookstore has it. Most black stores right. in the city has it. Right. And how much is it run for? What is it going to cost? $15. $15. Had I listened, guys, pick up the book. The stage play is coming soon to a theater near you. I think we're going to go to Arena Playhouse. Arena Little Play. Arena Playhouse in December. We're going to try to work it out. December the 1st. That's right. First week of December. And come see the play. Actors, tune in. Try to get an audition. Be a part of the G Show. So you can be a part of the Had I Listen. All right. Hey, thank you, Hans, for coming by. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. All right. Here's a book. Ah, it's like that sport jack too, but it's nice. It's really nice. All right. Hey, don't go nowhere. Coming up soon, I'm going to have uh, my boss. Believe it or not, uh, I got a boss. Somebody I got to answer to, and so does uh, Art over there. He act like he doesn't, but he does. Uh, he's our manager, um, and we're going to tell you what he's got going on for us. Uh, Mr. Rude be coming with us real soon. So don't go nowhere. Be right back with the G Show, baby. The G Show. Jim, try, try with us, Jim. Come on, Jim. Come on, Jim. Try with us. Come on. Put some rim in it, Jim. Put some rim in it. Uh, uh, uh. Hey! We're the G Show. We're back 
with the three amigos. Hey. Taco Bell. Yeah. Cinco de Mayo. Hey. I do it great. Yes, that's right. You got nice shoes. All right, all right. Okay. Take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. All right. All right. We're going to bring up our guest. Uh, this guy is an entrepreneur. He's a philanthropist. He, he does it all. He's a manager. He, he got a marketing company. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, Mr. Rusan oh. ATN. Come on, y'all. I'm here. Hey. In the house. Hey. All right. Yeah. Blue money, baby. Blue oh, money. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Rue, so how's it going, sir? Great. Great. All right, I need you to speak a little louder. We we on a budget. We don't, we don't have no lavalier mics attached to you and everything. You gotta project, buddy. You gotta project. Come on. I'm doing great. All right, doing great. All right. So let's let's start. Where we start off? We you are a manager. You got the marketing company. You you manage uh, uh, artists such as myself. Uh, you 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 uh, manage the stage play. My stage play never could have made it. Uh, what, what else going on? What, what else? What is we we know what Rue is doing, but what who is Rue? We want to know, get to know who is Rue. Who, like who am I? Right. I am a father. So Rue, your father. What else, man? Um, philanthropist. I love giving back. Giving back. Love, okay. Love working with youth. You work with the youth. Okay. And love working with the underdog. Underdog. Right. Right. You know that since we've been around for years. For real. When someone say this can't happen, I say it can't happen. Happen. Exactly. And you know, I have a faith that sees beyond what the normal, or the average person right, can see. Right. Right. And one of the things I really like to do is really get behind others mm. and right. empower them, and you know, just see beyond and push them and encourage them. To see beyond who they are and see where God would have them to be. Exactly. So. And, and let, me, let me tell you, not to cut you off, I'm going to tell you a story about how Rue and I met. Uh, years ago, uh, when I was just starting comedy, uh, Rue uh, reached out. He was like somewhat of an agent. And he was the first one that brought Def Jams to the D.C., Baltimore area. Uh, they was going to Chicago. They was going to L.A. They were going to New York. But Rue contacted uh, Bob Sumner and, and Russell Simmons, all these guys, and said, hey, why y'all going to all these places? We got some comedians right here locally in the D.C., Maryland, Virginia area that you need to come and check out. And so he basically, like, conned those guys, got them down here. I don't know. I how, how, nobody. Right. Like, nobody knew Monique. Nobody, nobody knew Monique. 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 Day, uh, Dave Chappelle. I mean, you Dave Chappelle it. was 16 years old, and he was getting rides, getting rides to a comedy club at, at 16 years old. Uh, Tommy Davidson, uh, Monique. Martin Lawrence, Monique, Monique you know. these guys, uh, and years ago. So Rue actually contacted these guys, had them come down, had them check us out at a, at a comedy club, and then they realized, hey, these guys are pretty smart, these guys are pretty funny, and let's, let's give these guys a shot. And he acted as our, our major, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, our manager slash agent, and uh, things went on for years, and big concerts and things like that. And then, you know, God talked to him, told him, hey, I want you to leave that stuff alone, I want you to work for me. So now he works for God, he works for the Lord, and now he's doing positive things in Jesus' name for the, for, for the build of his kingdom, and that's what he's doing. And that's why he and I uh, came back together again and fold years later. This is like, what, 10, 10 12 years 10 later? Years. Right. And, and, then, and when I talked to him, I was afraid to send him my material because I didn't think it was up to part. I didn't think it was ready for his caliber. So I sent my stuff in anyway. And he liked it. He said, look, I got something for you. I, you need to come on board. I came on board. Um, within a week of me signing with him, he booked our play for two dates already. When I say booked it, the people already paid for the production. <laughs> Check already the mail and everything. I haven't even met the people yet. I'm like, Rude, what are you doing? He said, hey, I'm working. You said you want me to manage you and handle you. That's what I'm doing. So that's what he did. And uh, Art met him. He worked with Art. So Jim, what can you do for Jim, bro? Can you do anything for Jim, man? He got that voice, and he got that, uh, you know, that. He that run for president. He got that delicate look, like a, uh, a congressman or something. So we might, we might can see if we can hook him up. You know, we need, we need some more uh, Caucasians in our camp. That's <laughs> Jim gonna be all right. If he with you, he gonna be all right. Yeah, he gonna be all right. He gonna, he gonna be our token white guy. <laughs> So, so what happens now? First of all, what you got there? What's that? That's the um, as you know, uh, one of your many characters. Oh okay. yeah, Grandma the G. DVD is DVD out now, out. live. And Root uh, manufactured this himself. He's a man. Oh, tell him that you're a manufacturing yeah, company. A manufacturing distribute music. Distribute music, product, product. CDs, and um, one of the things we wanted to make sure is the marketplace know that this guy he is very 
multi-talented. Oh, thank you, real. I'm just saying. Oh, you have to get paid. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 uh, but <laughs> yeah, but you guys got to uh, check this out. I mean, this is packaged nice. It's real professional. Got a barcode on it. So you, you personally put out things. That's it's neat. This is really nice. But so this gonna, is really showing, you know, in all things, especially what I do as a manager, it's ministry. Right. Amen. Believe it or not, because you have to, ministry is giving something to someone else that right. God's giving to you. Right. It's funny, my pastor was just talking about do something for others that God will do for you. Exactly. And one of the things I've done, and Howard to tell you, when people see things different, God uses certain people to see, because a diamond, to make a diamond. Right. It takes a lot of pressure. It takes a lot. I mean, people don't understand. And we had what, what's that girl that did the um, the, look, Miss 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 Lauren. Lauren Bramble, yeah. She'll right. tell you. You can look at something and look like rocks, and look, right. But that's all a diamond is. Right. Big piece of ugly rock. Right. Yeah, but so it, God it, says it, but, you but, have rocks in your brain. <laughs> rocks for brain. Well, you know, <laughs> but it, but it takes someone to see beyond what that rock looks like. Right. And to mold it and to bring it in. And that's really, in my mm -hmm. era, what I do as a manager, that support system to take something, mm -hmm. see beyond what you, the person sees, add to the creativity. Right. And then get it into the marketplace. Yeah. Right. And that's one of the things I wanted to do in, in, in meeting you, Howard. It's like to see us 10 years later. Mm -hmm. Right. And God took me on the other side, but yet he just wants balanced people. Right. Love me and Mr. Hines. You know, you know, I'm networking with everybody. Okay. Mr. Right. Hines on the backstage. We we're talking about how, you know, ministry is about serving. Right. You know, finding out how you can do things for others. Okay. So one of the things, that, you know, that I've always wanted to do is find out what did you need? What did Howard need? Howard just needed a support. Creative guy. Right. But they don't know how creative you are. Uh, this is uh, uh, me doing my grandmother character and uh, Rusan. Put this together. Hey guys, what's up? This is me, Howard G. You're watching the G Show. I got my man. Ah, so that was funny. So that was some funny stuff. Y'all like that, Jim? Come on, Jim. You know it. Yeah, I have to give it to uh, Rue. Um, he is really a miracle worker. <laughs> <laughs> to make this guy look like such a pretty woman, <laughs> boy, nobody can wear lipstick like you. <laughs> You're next, Jim. You're next. So, uh, oh, no. yeah, Grandma gonna have a little sidekick. Yeah, I'll pass yeah. on that. I'll pass on that. <laughs> so, Rue, what's next for? Um, uh, uh, G Productions, the G Show, the, the Never Could Have Made It Stage yeah. Play Tour, the Rude Marketing. What's next? What? We actually, as you know, we wrote the script for the reality show. So we got a reality show coming up. Okay. I don't want to put that out quite yet. Right, right, it's right. still in the making with right. some folks. And, right. um, and we are, we we are have, taking we have, dates. We are, we are taking dates. We have, yeah. we have the play. Right. Never Could Have Made It, part one. And, and part, part two. two. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll start here, Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> um, then Jokes and Jams, we got Comedy Tour that is actually going to be going into the marketplace. And interesting enough, the play opens up right with, with Jokes and Jams and Howard's sister. I mean, it's a family. The G production is a family. Yeah, you know, sister Strawberry, Strawberry, Strawberry warm the audience. Play. Now tell people how they can reach you, Ruth. Right in that camera, tell um, them how they can reach you. You can go to www.roomarketing.com or you can go directly to www.comediangrandmag or never could have made it.com oh that's right we just got that that's yeah right. oh, give them a phone number too in case they, um, people don't 301 220 3156 that's 301-220-3156 operators are standing by now <laughs> that's right. or you can email these days info at roumarketing.com all right hey we had a great show today and i, I want to thank rue yep. i want to thank lori with her little graphic artifacts uh uh toys there we love them I'm gonna keep on my fact. I think I'm sitting on one of them, guys. I think I got I one of them. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, you're watching the G Show. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. We we we're gonna come back real soon, so don't go nowhere because this is like uh, a show that's gonna come on periodic. You never know when we're gonna come on. You never know. We might come on two o'clock in the morning. We want you to tune in every time we come on. We need a ratings, baby. That's right. We need a ratings, baby. All right. Ain't that right, guys? We need it. We need you to watch us. Watch us. Tune in. And we're the G Show. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you. Come on, everybody. Spill all the kids. Spill all the kids. Ah.